for faithfulness in your life and in my life, elevate God and eliminate distractions. Elevate God and eliminate distractions. What's an idol in your life? Not a little statue you worship in your bedroom. What's an idol in your life? Something that's more important than God. Parents, our children can become idols in our lives. Our workplace can become an idol in our life. Our stuff can become an idol in our life. The way people view us, our pride can become an idol in our life. And so he eliminated the Asherah poles and he elevated God. Here's how you do it. Don't try to love these things less. Try to love God more. When you love God more, everything else you'll love less. So I'm not telling you to love your kids less. I'm telling you to love your God more. And when you love your God more, it will give your thirst, will be just a, a quenched with, with the living water of Jesus. So now you don't need false idols. Seek first his kingdom and righteousness and then all these things shall be added unto you. So faithfulness is to eliminate distraction and to elevate God. Listen to Sir Francis Drake quoted in a missionary prayer letter. Here's what he says. It's very insightful. Listen, disturb us, Lord, is the way he begins each of these three statements. Disturb us, Lord, when we are too well pleased with ourselves. When our dreams have come true because we have dreamed too little. When we arrive safely because we have sailed too close to the shore. Disturb us, Lord, when the abundance of things we possess, we have lost our thirst for the waters of life. Having fallen in love with life, we've ceased to dream of eternity. In our efforts to build a new earth, we have allowed the vision of a new heaven to dim. Last one. Disturb us, O oh Lord, to dare more boldly, to venture on wider seas where storms will show your mastery. Watch this. Where losing sight of land, we shall find the stars. We ask you to push back the horizons of our hopes and to push into the future in strength and courage and hope and love. Did you hear what he said? He said, let us not stay so close to the shores that we don't see the stars. Let's don't just pop our fireworks here. Let's get here where we can put them in the heavenlies. How is that going to happen? By being faithful to God. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.